Gotta eat just Oh, no. I'm here to give you a manicure. Manicure? What? Manicure? Hello and welcome back to LP's LP of the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Last episode, we finished up our photography journey that took us to each and every individual stable occupying an empty frame in their, well, spaces. <laughs> oh, this episode, we are starting off on another trio of quests. The Goddess Statue of Wisdom presumably will also do one for power and courage. They need a Nadra's Claw here. Uh, I was hoping that coming to this location would spawn up Nadra, because that's what I remember happening in Breath of the Wild. I remember Nadra kind of flying around in this general vicinity. And there they are. Hello, my serpentine queen. We need a, a what now? A claw? All right, and they're flying away from us, which is relatively problematic. So we need to call upon the services of one Mrs. Heather. Step on up to the plate, gentle lady. And then we'll fly after this beast, I think. Uh, I think, we, why can I not get in this? Did it sink into the snow? That's weird. Come on, come on out real quick, let me. There we go, I think that we should be quick enough, right? I mean, the dragon is very large, in charge, and you'd think they'd be moving pretty quickly, but look at this now, we're already gaining on them. Amazing, I mean, clearly the dragons don't use momentum. Certainly not wings, unless there's microscopic little wings attached to every single inch of their body. Uh, so I'm not certain how they're maintaining their lift or their elevation. But whatever it is, it's not propulsion. And for that, I'm thankful as we come across the feet. There's four feet. Does it matter? I don't think it matters which foot we assault. Ultimately, they will all give us a claw that we desire. And on it, mm, I have an idea too. I might go pick some some horn pieces off of this body too. We did that for Dinral a few episodes back. And shoot, while we're here, we may as well, right? Like, what's the harm? Goodness me, I don't see any. Oh, there's some right there. And there's some here. Go as far forward as as necessary. Yeah, that's. Oh, oh, oh! Don't don't plummet now. Uh, Heather can plummet. Heather doesn't need to be here. Heather has an appointment. Heather is, uh, tasked with staying on that. Uh, Tolan, please do not blow the shard of Nadra's spike. An incredibly hard stone mined from a spike on Nadra's back. It's very destructive when fused with a weapon. And, of course, as you might imagine, imbues the power of ice to that very item. Uh, oop, missed one. Thank you. Now we gotta be sure to not go too far. Well, I guess we can always come back. I was going to say we don't want to uh, to bypass where the legs are at. But of course, yes, we can just co come on back and hopefully not fall off. I suppose that's the only other problem, including, including, I know I just said that's the only other problem. We're adding more problems if, if they decide to go down into the depths. That would be uh, a slight issue, I'd have to imagine. We're getting a lot of these. Holy cow. This feels like more than we got off of Dinral. Then again, Dinral was vertical when we were doing this, so we probably didn't get the uh, complete uh, slate of opportunity to pick at all these scales or, or shards. Is that it, then? I don't want to go all the way back there. It doesn't look like there's anything up there. Okay, well, run up to the legs. Hi, leg! You look like you got an ingrown toenail. I am ready to help you out with that, if you wouldn't mind. You know, it's like the story of the, the mouse, the lion, and the... What was it? Something was stuck in the lion's paw, like a thumbtack or something? Get over here. We need to make sure this happens. Uh, I'm not taking any chances. I want to hit right on the claw. Right on that... No? There we go. It's like right on the middle finger. Now where's it going? Over here. Ha-ha! Can we catch it out of midair? Uh... No? But it's some... Wait, where'd it go? Okay, it's there. I was like, oh, we've lost it. No, we have it. Nadra's Claw. Is that a shard of Nadra's Claw? Not Nadra's Claw, right? No, no, no. Off of the Blue Spirit, Nadra's Claw. Okay, cool. Well, we did it. We flew like... Holy cow, like 20 miles away in pursuit of that thing. But thanks again to the efficiency of Heather. It really happened in no time flat. Now, the only other- so I mentioned that there's going to be three of these, right? People in the comments have let me know that there are, uh... 
other shrines associated with the other two dragons, right? Dinral and Farash. I don't... I don't remember where those are at. The only, the only reason that I knew where this one was at... Well, I guess not the only reason, but the main reason I knew where this one was at is because we had a quest for it. Secondarily, I do remember my time here in Breath of the Wild. I've got faint memories of Farash's shrine, I think? So, we'll check that out in a second. And then once we get to Dinral, I don't friggin' know. So we gotta place it on the pedestal? Let's, let's reference the adventure log once more. Uh, at the spring, so... Not necessarily specific. But goodness gracious, we can, we can pick up and drop the claw. Alright, as many times as we need! And we got Ultra Hand, so we don't even have to take it out. Wait, we can take a photo of this? No, we cannot. We can just Ultra Hand it. Doesn't need to go here. Yeah, it does! Splish splash! The claw was taking a bath. Thank you, devout swordsman. I have sent a measure of my strength to the Mother Goddess statue. For this pious deed, I shall bestow upon you a small blessing. A sapphire! There are two other goddess statues who guard springs as I do. For the sake of the Mother Goddess, I ask that you assist them as well. Could you tell me where they're at? Huh? It would seem that no. She does not want to help us. Okay, well, that's fine. We will use what small semblance of knowledge and remembrance that I have and, and kind of look around. Is it here? No, that's way too close. But Farash is associated with the Farron region, right? Nekluda, Lanayru, Vernadra, and then Dinral for Elven. So it's somewhere over here, I feel like. I feel like Dinral's might be up here somewhere, but... Well, actually, honestly, I feel like Dinral's was, like, right here in Breath of the Wild. Obviously, everything has changed here. Yeah, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. We'll come to this one now. Maybe. Uh, Riola Spring? Riola Spring? That seems like a thing. What is this one called when we zoom in on it? The Spring of Wisdom. Now, the springs themselves won't pop up unless we've been to them. But, we could look for things that might be springs. Like, like this little thing right here, like what is that? That's a little puddle of something. Anything else that is relatively near? Courage Step! Hmm... Well, isn't that curious? In this little thing? Yeah, one of, one of the, uh, the dragons is associated with Curus. We're looking for that. Let's, let's go over there. The Rebella Wetlands. Well... Uh, we'll walk around and, and see if we can't smell a, a particularly courageous spot. You know, my cats tend to leave courageous spots in the litter box, and they've got a strong sense, I tell you what. <laughs> so hopefully, uh, Farash uh, is very much the same. You know what I'm saying? If not, well, I'm not entirely certain how long it'll take us. We may not finish this uh, this episode like I would, uh, like I would hope. But hey, that's just the fun of it, right? So, courage step off yonder. Is there anything else that we could harvest or photographer size on the way? These are the Fleet Lotus. I suppose we could grab them. We definitely don't need to photographer size them, but they could be used for some sort of, like... Okay, hi, Manero. Yes, take the seeds. They could be used for some sort of weapon or armor upgrade. Maybe not. I mean, they don't necessarily strike me as the most offensive or defensive things in the world, but hey, if they're here, growing, we can't allow that. What? No, they've got to come with us. Monero keeps scooping me up. Please stop that. I know I know it's me pressing the A button, but I'm just trying to mash the A button and grab these things. Okay. Is that, is that permissible? I'd very much like to believe it is. So, just off of this cliff is Courage Step. Oh, hi. There's some Boko friends down there. We don't have a photo of the silver boss, Boko? Well, now we do. So, hey, there we go. Documented and... You know, they're just... They look tired. All right, they look, frankly, like they're, they're sick of it. They're done existing. I know you guys are craving the nap, aren't you? Let me just get a... Uh... Oh, yes. A savage Lionel bear, yes, particularly smashing. And what's more, maybe something that could uh, boost our attack power just a wee bit. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I think that's an excellent idea. Now, bombs away. Dare I say, only five of them. Well, we've got twenty-five, thanks to our little thingy. 
Uh, get some over there. And then you, just get, get gone, everyone. Yeah, if anyone could perish, it would be you guys, and that'd be nice. There we go! Ha-ha! Whee! Yeah, what are you gonna run? You gonna, you going after the guts, you big beefer? No! That's illegal. You've got to sleep, alright? It's nap time, and I'm your babysitter. Wow. Is there anyone left alive? Oh, just these big beefers. You guys, cease and McTwist, alright? There's no need for this. Thank you. I'll give you all these jellies. Uh, before that burns up, let's take a photo of it. The grand thick stick, is that what I said, or gnarled? Gnarled, I was like, we can't be getting new things already. Oh, it made a, a fire chew jelly after burning. Look at that. Anything here that we could photographer size? No, we've got it all. All right, sturdy, sturdy. I only lack my sticks to be gnarly. Where did all the body parts of the bocos go? What's up, Pebbit? You guys seek to, to perish? Oh, goodness me. It blew up right in front of me. That was quite graphic. I guess all the body parts either flew away or caught fire or something. Very strange. Hey, there's a bull. What's up, dude? Let's uh, change our bow out real quick because I don't want to use that up. Frankly, I don't want to use up any of these. <laughs> I'd rather like to keep all of these. This is a one shot, so we'll keep it. Do a little bit of hunting here. You should leave, dude. Oh, he didn't leave. You know what? We should have taken a photo. Gosh darn it. That's my problem. Being so gosh darn violet, never stopping to smell the flowers or photographize them either. Do you have any Christmas? Well, let's go take a photo of the ducks. How about? There were ducks, right? We, sca we scared the ducks with our... our dis no, there's a duck. A mallard. A bright-chested duck. Thought we had scared them away with our grand display of violence. There's also a Korok here, but this doesn't look like it's a shrine. Definitely not in the same way that the, uh, the last place was. Yahaha! Yeah. Okay. Well, what have we seen that's, like, significant or... I don't know, otherwise slightly shriny in this region? The only thing I can think of, and I didn't think of this a few moments prior, otherwise I may have gone there first, is this, like, dragon thing. The Riola Spring? The Ravioli Spring? Or... Jukozu Lake? This was kind of shriny, right? Um, let's go there first. Alright, we don't need the, the raviolis. And this could be wrong. This might actually be it right here. Okay. Let's go here. Let's go to Geocoon. That way we can, we can, you know, cross off two birds with one stone. Or we can... We can give two birds... A concussion at the same time, and that's a good thing, apparently. However, the, the phrase uh, originated, I'm not certain, but people were very angry with the birds, and they wanted to, uh, to be more efficient with their stone usage, and here we are. We've definitely been here, though. I mean, obviously, we've done the shrine, right? But you would think that this, if it were anything, would say... So well, hold on. Do I Have I been there? I have not been, like, right up here. I've been very close to it. <laughs> Uh, but what is this? Is this something we could enter? What is all this? It's rather grand looking. There is a goddess statue here, which is curious. Oh, hi. Spring of courage. Look at that! My natural instincts actually proved to be a good thing for friggin' once, not sending us on a wild goose hunt. Talk to me. Tell me what you need. You need Farash's claw? Okay, I'll take care of it. Do you leave that to me? Goddess. Uh, now, I remember seeing Farash over here, I think. Or was it over here? The only time I really remember seeing Farash is when they were, like, flying over Gerudo and going down into a chasm. So, I mean, I guess if we're at this tower, we'll be able to see all of Gerudo at least in a way that would... Uh, will allow us to see a giant floating serpent. I mean, we won't be able to see, like, the finer details of the, of the of the desert, but that's not necessarily what we're after anyway, so... But we can find any floating salamanders. We'll be in good shape. This direction? This direction. Uh, the question then becomes, like, what time of day? What What is the cycle here? And where is the chasm that it comes out of or in of? Over here? Okay. Well, another thing we could do, I guess, is we could fly 
into that chasm, huh? What time is it? Is It's 8 a.m.? Why don't we do that? Because that will allow me to uh, either be proven incorrect or correct. I mean, I guess I, I don't know enough to even call it that because I'm just guessing, but it'll provide us with an answer quicker. Because if this is indeed the chasm that Farage comes out of or goes into, we should cross paths, right? We should cross paths. We should also uh, cross our fingers that we don't die of heat exhaustion here. Let's put on, <laughs> oh, let's put on something different. How about we link? Uh, what do you got here? We got the sun pants. Boom, feeling good. Truly, you know, you just need some uh, some slightly looser clothing, and then you'll stay healthy. Yes, doctors hate him. Anything? I see nothing still. Uh, and I wouldn't... So, if that is the case, though, let's... I don't know, let's workshop this for a second. If it's coming it's out of this one, it would travel this direction, right? Because Farash occupies maybe this region. Uh, Nadra obviously was going all the way down here. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. We will, uh... <laughs> we'll try not to overthink it. And we'll just cross our fingers... That this is correct. A uh, slight problem, however, is descending with Heather. Maybe I guess we could just like free free fall a little. We, we could take our our foot off the gas, so to speak, and just plummet, and then hopefully we can you know turn her back on before we hit the ground, and then fly around in the depths a little bit. This will be a good use of the uh, the depths being completely illuminated. All right, there we go. You know what? That worked out almost amazingly. All right, Heather, we'll see you in a second. But I don't want to go all the way down there. I want to look for giant lizards. Farage, anywhere to be found? I don't... You would be coming from this way, right? No, 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 you would be coming from... Wait, which way? You'd be coming from this way. You would be coming from this way. Let's make sure Link faces the proper direction. No, even further this way? I'm getting turned around here, man! Which way is Link facing? Alright, Link is now facing the right way that the dragon would be coming from if they were indeed down here. Again, we do not have wood, which is problematic because we cannot pass time. Hmm. We might do another couple of warpings just to expedite this process because... When I played Breath of the Wild, I remember over at this stable, the stable we were actually at yesterday. Where is it? Highland Stable? No, 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 this one here. Over at the Lakeside Stable. Floria Bridge specifically. Every time I'd warp over there and go over there, the dragon would be there. We warped over there a couple of times in the last few days, and the dragon was never there. So I'm not necessarily confident in that being, you know, a beneficial avenue of exploration for us and in, in hopes of solving this, but, you know, being that the dragon does kind of exist around that region, it might make some sense. It certainly might make more sense than hanging out the depths, which we are doing now. Hmm. Oh, oh, what? Oh, I know those spikes! <laughs> oh, you can't hide from me! Oh, you can't hide from me. Very good. Just as I was about to warp away. Goodness gracious, it seems that smiles fortune upon the brave. Or something like that. Either which way, we bravely sat upon our mushroom and will be rewarded not but with just a claw, but with also the shards of the spikes. Uh, assuming, of course, that the dragon will remain horizontal for a long enough time for us to do that, because the last thing I want is for us to be running around picking at blackheads on their back and then having them turn up and go straight, not hypey, turn up, but turn up vertically and buck us off their back and make us squander our opportunity to shoot them right in the foot. But I think we do have some amount of time to do this. They're making their way to a, to a chasm, right? Making my way to a chasm, moving fast, being scaly. Be -de 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 -de. Whatever, I think that song was... That song was written for Zelda, right? All right, we're here. Whoa! The momentum carried us. We got a shard of Farash's spike. Now, do we have a photo of this demon? No, we don't. Look at that. Perfect. I checked the Nadra, right? I'm pretty sure I checked the Nadra before we even went after them, so... 
We'll have to, and we do have we have, do have Denral, so that should be the third dragon. All three of them have now been photographer sized. Well, all four, also counting the Princess Zelda. Can't forget about her and her amazing sacrifice. I really, 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 really hope that we're able to help her. I know that she's probably very, you know, impatient. Ah, she's been waiting for a millennia at this point. If if she's anything, it should be patient. Either which way, I do feel a little bit bad for making her wait even longer before we fix her up. But it's coming. I think slash hope. Uh, I don't see any more shards that way, so I'm just gonna come up here. And I'm gonna pluck your toenail. Where are your feet at? Where are they? There we go. That's a toe that I need. And I just, I just have that real quick. You gotta you just. Oh no! I'm here to give you manicure. Manicure? What? Manicure? There we go. Oh, we hit her right in the hand. You got a claw growing in there or something? And that's definitely an ingrown toenail, if so. Where'd it go? It didn't stay sparkly for anywhere near as long as I would have liked. Thankfully, we were able to follow it down. Farash's claw, a valuable claw that once produced lightning, attach it to a weapon, or offer it at a shrine, which is exactly what we're doing now. All the way back where? Right here, Spring of Courage. Did you come shrine? I'm quite pleased. Now, finding Dinral's shrine, the shrine of... Uh, the spring of... Of strength? Or of power? I think it's power. I think it's power, courage, and wisdom. The three, you know, parts of the Triforce which these dragons represent. Which, curiously enough, too, interestingly, there's not a Triforce in Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom. And really, no direct mention of it, if I remember correctly. The closest we get, I think, are the uh, the representations here at the springs and the dragons. Fascinating. That's something I'd like to see return. Unless, of course, I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure that that's something I would remember. Uh, I'd like to see that return in, well, to come Zelda games. Okay, I got you, uh, your holy toenail. Bestow upon me a topaz, I'm guessing. Please and thank you. Thank you, devout swordsman. I have sent a message of my strength to the Mother Goddess statue. For this pious deed, I shall bestow upon you a topizzle. There is one last goddess statue who guards a spring. For the sake of the Mother Goddess, I ask that you assist her. Could you tell me where she's at? No, you can't. Of course not. But we do have a small inkling here. I'm, I'm, I feel like it's in this region. Like, it might be this. Like, that looks pretty shriny. I mean, we've been right there. But not directly. Not directly. We're gonna... We're gonna go there. We don't have any, like, great warp points. Um... I guess this is the closest one. So we'll go there. If that is not the case, then maybe we'll look on the western side of Death Mountain. But I, uh, I feel quite strongly about this, that it was, like, surrounded by grass. And yes, the upheaval has changed the landscape and certain things involved inside of it. But... Uh, would it... Would it completely m relocate a shrine like that? A spring shrine? A shring, if you will? A sprine? I'd have to hazard a guess and a hope that no, that's not the case. But, uh, <laughs> well, anything is possible. We brought the rain with us. Look at this, man. The moisture is good for the plants. Not the, uh, not the water levels at the Octorok Lake. Or is it, I suppose? I don't know. If the lake wants to get high, then... Sure, I suppose that is. So we are headed just down here. That's probably what it is that we're looking for, or looking to get to down in that little basin. And hey, moblins, if that is up, my mobly friends, I'm going to send you my best wishes. Oh, yes, the trademark of my people. A couple of arrows to the forehead, isn't it amazing? My Demon King's bow broke, you get electrocuted. Drop your weapons. Yes, indeed. Do it again. Oh, can you touch those balls? No, you need to touch these balls, man. Come on. You dropped a weapon. Oh, the weapon. I want that weapon. I'm gonna have to ask that weapon to come back, please. Not for you, but I'm gonna grab it. Teammates, please handle him, okay? I'm just gonna... Oh, I can't, I can't grab it. I can't grab it. Let me grab it. You guys are knocking him off the edge. What can we get rid of here? Wow, a 25 two-handed. That's pretty freaking solid. But I'm probably gonna get rid of it. <laughs> Ah, uh, because I want the one-handed, the one-handed weapons. I got nothing else I want to get rid of. Alright, now, do I have a photo of you? 
Big so you just booted my friend? You sick demon, you are gonna get the Great Eagle bow. No, you're gonna get the Mighty Lionel bow. We don't need to use the Great Eagle. Don't, ooh, he's got accuracy. Goodness gracious. That dude's like Barry McGuire or Jimmy Dean or... No, I don't know a whole lot about baseball, but he threw that rock like a baseball and he did it very well. And these body parts and we will continue on our journey. Oh, look at that. They just got married. She says, pull the cart, Barry. The parents are waiting. I'll leave them to their own devices. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, we already have a photo of the Mountain Doe. Look at me go. Being proactive and junk. All right, we are growing ever closer to where I thought we should investigate first. Koroks? Oh. The Koroks have left. We, we reunited them over here. I thought they just hung out forever. It turns out that when they're solo style, they hang out forever. But when they're a couple, well, they move on to greener pastures. Is this what I'm looking to... Oh, it's what I'm looking for in general. Hot dog, spring of power. Oh, it's never sour. Now, this is pretty. Maybe we should have entered from this way. Oh, the architecture. Oh, my goodness me. Excuse me. Let me just cut through this, if I may. Can I... Oh, we got a hammer. You can't, you can't cut with that. There we go. Okay, I don't know what all this is about. There's a bunch of, like, burnt down logs. Maybe we can... You know, that's actually a great idea, LP. Great friggin' thinking. Look at me go. Look at the Let's Player as he actually utilizes some semblance of hindsight. Remembering that he is lacking in wood and doing as exactly as he should. Producing many. Oh, isn't it good? Yeah, let's do one more. Uh, my, well, my, 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 my reaper broke. Don't love that. We don't have anything else slicey, do we? I mean, we do. Uh, well, well, we'll fuse this royal broadsword and make something slicey with it. Uh, probably with a silver boko horn. Yeah, that's the one. And then, uh, Denral is probably- No, don't blow my wood, Tolan. Goodness gracious. Do not blow the adventurer's wood. It's very rude. It needs to go back into my pack. Dinral is the only one of the three dragons that I feel the most confident in being able to locate. Granted, we had no trouble at all with Nadra. They were conveniently just off the horizon of where we were at the spring. And then we kind of lucked in to Farage just because I had remember seeing them in that general vicinity and used that information to track them down like a regular friggin' bounty hunter. Goodness gracious. No, I don't want to collect. I want to place. Can't place it in the water? What if I want to warp in the water? Place it here. Look at me. Making good calls. No, I remember seeing the dragon flying around the sky here. So if we warp to... Yeah, I'll do the Mayhem Shrine. Is any shrine in the uh, sky vicinity. We should see them. Oh, that, that was them, wasn't it? That was them. They were in the sky. <laughs> oh, no. Oh no, where were they going? It might be a while yet until they get over here in that regard. Oh gosh, darn it. Well, they would be seen from this direction, I would think, as we're gazing towards Death Mountain. Oh boy, that's quite funny. <laughs> well, I suppose since we're here, we may as well see. We could get uh, nothing. We already have plenty of all those things. Never mind, never mind, never mind, but we can... We can see a whole lot of everything here. The dragon was over that way? You know what? You know what? If we know where the dragon was, roughly, why could we not just fly over there, huh? With the power of Heather, I mean, we've got enough charges. We can go for a huge family road trip, except instead of a road, it's the friggin' sky, and instead of a family, well, we are a family, right? We've done... We, we've, we've, we've been through a lot together. All right, Link and all of his companions. I mean, sure, most of what we've been through has been uh, mass killings of an assorted, you know, array of monsters. But really, how many monsters do you have to kill together before you're a family? I think we've met that threshold. Now, the spring that we were at is the direction that we're facing. 
almost directly we're facing pretty well. We would have to turn a little bit to the left. And that is where we saw Dinral. Dinral looked, granted I didn't get the greatest look, looked to be moving east, perhaps southeast. So by the time we had warped over here and now have flown with Heather, they should be around here. Of course, this also, very much like the other dragons, means that they will be going into the depths, right? The last time we saw Dinral, they were they were going into the depths. Or were they coming out? Oh, I don't I think they were coming out, actually, and they were coming out, like, over here? So if they come out there and they fly this way, mm, they probably go into this one. This big one. So let's head that way, and maybe we can cut them off. Oh, 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 oh! There they be. And they're going the opposite direction. I had the wrong of it, but like a floating millipede, the target has been acquired and not a moment too soon, too, because as you can see, we're about to run out of battery, but good for me. We have a crap ton of them, so let's uh, fill a charge real quick. Where are they at? Probably just use a big one on this because it's going to fill everything else up and then some. We got 40 friggin' seven of them. Boom shakalaka, look at that. Wee you. We are ready, and this is very convenient. We might not even have to warp. We might be able to jump off the dragon. Well, no, we gotta jump off the dragon to go collect the, the, the fingernail. Never mind. Hmm. That being said, is a problem has arisen. In the dark recesses of my mind, where doubt lingers, what if we shoot the toenail and it falls off into the abyss outside of the map? Yeah, what then? We'd have to wait till the next blood moon to get another- Ooh, God. No, that's bad news. I don't like how close you are to the edge. You need to come inland a little bit, Dinral. You need to get further away from the land of badness. All right? Could you do that for me? I'd very much appreciate it. it. Looks like you're angling that way. Thank you. Number one, thank you for hearing me. That's amazing. We're like a mile above you. Number two, thank you for acting upon it. Get there. I mean, we're gonna meet in the middle. De oh, has it has it been a blood moon since we saw the dragon last? I think it has. We should be able to get some more shards off of the horns too. Look at these. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, and we're on fire. Don't you just love to see it? Truly, an amazing time. Nothing is better than cooking alive while you're trying to harvest body parts, huh? Hi, buddy. Giving them spikes. Oh. What just burned away? Did my weapon just burn away? Oh, it did? No, it didn't. Something else did. What burned away? My sand seal plush! No! Oh, Patricia, no! Oh, she's been with us for over a hundred episodes. Cooked alive on the backside of this huge demon. Wow, that's too bad. We're gonna have to go steal another one from Gerudo Town. Anyways, before we do that, we just gotta steal some more pieces of this thing's body. Are there any more shards? I mean, we're not yet at the- yeah. Not yet at the back haunches. Oh, buddy, we almost fell. I don't see any more- mm, There's one in front of me. I don't see any more this way, so I'm not even gonna traverse it. I'm gonna go over here and get us a fingernail. Hi there, Claw! Could you give me that, please? Where are you going? You going that way? Ha! -ha. I'm com I'm coming. I'm coming. Now grab it out of the air. Oh, I did indeed. This valuable claw said it had once been covered in flames, attached to a weapon, or delivered upon some other place. What is this? Oh, this was the Goron climbing thing in Breath of the Wild, wasn't it? We have not been here. We've been very close to it. We haven't been over here on the flint. Wow, there's a lot of the map that we just have not touched at all. This looks relatively abandoned, though. No longer are they challenging people to, uh, to climb, because we could just ultra hand. Not ultra hand. Ascend. Ascend, ultra hand. What's really the difference? Hmm. Interesting. Well, we'll have to come back here another time, maybe? Maybe we just... Get the Korok that's here now. The, the enemy music is playing, which is strange. Is a Korok right here? Oh, hi. Yes, there is. So sorry to make... Did you eat the Goron? There was a Goron here last I checked. Where are they at, huh? Very suspicious. 
Um, our travel medallion is at the Spring of Power, which is extraordinarily convenient. And then we can get a ruby. We got a topaz, a sapphire, and a ruby uh, from each of the three dragons, or one each respectively. Which are things that we needed. I mean, we definitely needed gemstones in order to upgrade all of our equipment. I should probably check and see what our total is at, too, after this. I think we have a lot. I certainly haven't been selling any, that's for certain. Alrighty, goddess statue, here is your prize. Gaze upon it with your eyes. And maybe give me a prize, too. Oh, yeah, they're gonna give me a ruby. I shall bestow upon you a blessing. A ruby. With your aid, a measure of our strength has gone to restore the Mother Goddess statue who dwells in the vast canyon. You should make a pilgrimage there in tribute. Interesting. In the... In the what? The Mother Goddess statue. Um, they directed you to visit them in the Forgotten Temple. Well... Episode's growing a little long in the tooth, but we can... We can do that real quick, like, since we do have a warp right next to it. It's the one that's toppled, right? It's kind of been desecrated ever so slightly. Maybe, uh, they, all right, so we'll either one, get a whole nother quest associated with this because they want us to go here for some reason, or two, we'll get some neat reward for having done all three. Hmm? That would be ideal, I would say. Got a statue. Oh, they're not toppled anymore. What? You stood up. Yo, big bungus, how amazing. I didn't know you had arms. You're very shiny, too. Look at that. Let's get, let's put on a, 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 a bit of equipment that's fitting for such a glorious occasion as this. Right? We need to look the part. Look at that. We, we, <laughs> Link's giving the, looking over his shoulder, huh? We see in this, there's a giant, giant statue, man. All right, statue. Let us pray. And what do you say? Devout swordsman who offers his prayers, I am deeply grateful for the aid you have provided to the statues of the springs. I bestow upon you in recognition of your wisdom, power, and courage. The White Sword of the Sky! Ooh, very neat. From Skyward Sword, a sword said to have once belonged to a hero from the sky. Its beautiful white blade stands out when it's wielded. A strange yet heavenly breeze kicks up around you. Go and bring peace to this world. Very cool. Very freaking cool. Uh, we are rapidly running out of space. <laughs> oh, because I insist upon hoarding and not using the unique weapons, and no one will ever be able to change my mind about that. But, I think it's time for us to go back and expand a band. We gotta go talk to Hestu next time. So, thank you so very much for watching. I sincerely do appreciate it, and I hope that you enjoyed yourself. If you did, well, then you know I really hope that I see you tomorrow.